this is my presentation which I will give in April 2021 at Intermarktus conference. This is the first conference presentation of a measurement method which I have developed about three years ago. It measures current induced magnetic field in nanomagnet which is so often called spin orbit torque or field like torque or damp like torque. More detail you can about this method you can find here. Additionally, I describe the new mechanism for magnetization reversal of small nanomagnet, which at present I call parametric reversal. This is presentation. My name is Vadim Zaitz and I will talk about a new high precision measurement method of magnetic field which, which is induced by spin accumulation at boundary bet between ferromagnetic nanomagnet and heavy metal. This magnetic field is often used to estimate the spin accumulation and spin orbit torque. Additionally, I will talk about a new method of magnetization reversal in nanomagnet using the paramagnetic resonance. This method of magnetization reversal does not require any spin injection and therefore it's less sensitive to the quality of interface and all the restriction of the spin injection. Combining with the spin orbit torque and spin torque, the proposed method might make the process of magnetization reversal more efficient. The main goal of this work is to optimize the writing mechanism of 3-terminal MRAM cell. Major merit of the 3-terminal MRAM cell is that a large writing current does not flow through the tunnel junction. It substantially improves the memory durability and reliability. The physical mechanism of the magnetization reversal in the 3-terminal MRAM is spin accumulation at ferromagnetic metal heavy metal interface. Conventionally, the amount of the spin accumulation and the efficiency of magnetization reversal are estimated from measurement of magnetic field which is induced by spin accumulation. The spin accumulation and corresponding magnetic field are induced by the electrical current. This current induced magnetic field is called thought magnetic field. A measurement of magnetic field in, in a tiny nanomagnet is a challenging task. Additional ch measurement challenge is that the measure, measured magnetic field is very small, typically it is only about a few aston. Conventional measurement method of current induced magnetic field in nanomagnet is the method of the second harmonic. In this case, the current is modulated at low frequency and the second harmonic of whole voltage is measured by a lock-in amplifier. The current induces an in-plane magnetic field shown as red arrow, under which the magnetization turns out from equilibrium perpendicular to plane direction. The magnetization is shown as a green ball. Since the whole voltage is proportional to both current and magnetization, the beating between oscillation of current and magnetization gives a second harmonic. The method of second harmonic has a poor measurement precision and may have several systematic errors. A systematic errors may exist due to the nonlinear dependence of whole voltage on the in-plane magnetic field and correspondingly on thought magnetic field. Also, the method uses an incorrect assumption that induced magnetic field is always linearly proportional, proportional to the current. These graphs show a high precision measurement of this dependence for two near identical samples. The dependence can be close to linear, but also can diverge from linear. This slide explains the proposed high precision measurement method. It based on DC measurement of the whole voltage. The whole voltage is measured as a function of scan external in-plane magnetic field. 
As external play magnetic field is applied, the magnetization turns towards the field and the hole voltage is reduced. This graph shows the measured hole angle in case when there is no additional in plane magnetic field. It is critically important the data is absolutely symmetrical for polarity reversal of scanned field. Iron cobalt boron is amorphous material and has isotropic in plane symmetry. Only another source of the magnetic field may break this symmetry. This graph shows the case of the same measurement but when there is a current induced magnetic field SCO. The data is still symmetrical, but the symmetry center is offset from the center on value of SCO. These graphs explain the fitting method to evaluate the value of SCO. The positive and negative parts of measured data are fitted to each other with the offset magnetic field as a parameter. The SCO field is found when the mean square difference between parts is smallest. This method gives a very high measurement precision, which is evaluated to be about 0.1 to 1 Gauss. This slide shows the measurement of salt magnetic field when additional external perpendicular magnetic field is applied. The spin orbit torque is due to the spin accumulation at the nanomagnet interface, the external magnetic field affects both the direction and amount of the spin accumulation. As a result, the spin orbit torque and the focus of current induced magnetic field should depend on external magnetic field. These graphs show the measured component of third magnetic field along and perpendicular to the current as function of external magnetic field. The field dependent change as large as 70 Gauss. This slide shows the measurement of dependence of salt magnetic field on electrical current. This graph shows the measured component of salt magnetic field along and perpendicular to the current. The line of different color correspond to a different current. This is same data but animated. The current dependence is substantial. Also, the current dependence is influenced by the external perpendicular magnetic field. In these two publications, it was suggested that salt magnetic field can be divided into two independent components, the field-like torque and damp-like torque. Using the, using the high-precision measurement, the correctness of this suggestion can be verified. The suggestion is based on the symmetry of the second harmonic data with respect to the magnetization reversal. The measured second harmonic component along current reverses its sign when the magnetization reversed. Therefore, it was assigned to the field-like torque, which is linearly proportional to the magnetization and has the same symmetry. The measured second harmonic component perpendicular to current is symmetrical with respect to the magnetization reversal. Therefore, it was assigned to the damp-like torque, which is proportional to the square of the magnetization. The high-precision measurement shows similar tendency. The component of salt field along current is ne nearly asymmetric with respect to the magnetization reversal. The, comp the component perpendicular to the current is very roughly symmetrical. However, a more detailed analysis of measured data indicates that it is, it is unlikely there are two independent components of different symmetry. Instead, there is only one sort magnetic field which amplitude and direction is changing under magnetization reversal. This slide discusses a possible mechanism of the magnetization reversal by the salt magnetic field. In particular, how the magnetization reversal is possible by applying such a small magnetic field. As I showed above, the current induced magnetic field is about 20 Gauss. The internal magnetic field which holds the magnetization perpendicular to the to plane approximately equals to the anisotropic field, which was measured to be about 10 kilogauss. 
a plank field of 20 gauss perpendicularly, perpendicularly to 10 kilogauss turns the magnetization very slightly at the angle of about 100 milli-degree. As was explained in my presentation, it's very hard to measure such a minuscule inclination angle. Clear, clearly, applying such a small external field will not lead to the magnetization reversal. The paramagnetic resonance makes possible magnetization reversal in the case of current induced magnetic field. The magnetization reversal is possible for F current, which frequency is close to the ferromagnetic resonance. The magnetization reversal is also possible for DC current without any modulation. This slide explains the mechanism of the magnetization reversal by RF current. When the current and the force is short magnetic field is in resonance with the magnetization precession, the precession is enhanced and the precession angle becomes larger after each oscillation period until magnetization reversal. The axis of the magnetization precession slightly inclined under current induced short magnetic field at the angle phi, which is about 100 milli-degrees. When the oscillation of the field is in phase with the magnetization precession, each period the precession angle increases per angle for phi, which is explained in this slide. Details about the mechanism and features of the precession enhancement are described in this my publication. This slide explains the mechanism of the magnetization reversal by DC current. The enhancement of resonance by a modulation of one resonance parameter at the resonance frequency can be easily understood. In contrary, the excitement of resonance by changing of a non-oscillating parameter is much harder to understand. The key mechanism for such resonant excitement is a positive feedback loop which amplifies the random thermal oscillations. A small oscillation becomes larger after one period of oscillation. This process repeats itself. The oscillation becomes larger and larger until the magnetization is reversed. Such positive feedback loop exists only in magnetoresistive structure, which resistance is modulated by magnetization precession. An example is a magnetic tunnel junction in which magnetization is in plane in pin layer and perpendicular to plane in free layer. In this case, a weak oscillation in free layer modulates the resistance of empty gear. When DC voltage is applied to empty gear, the current is modulated by the resistance oscillation. The oscillating current produces short magnetic field. Since short magnetic field is in phase with initial oscillations, the magnetization precession is enhanced and the precession angle become larger. The larger DC, DC voltage makes the precession enhancement larger. Therefore, the non-oscillating DC voltage enhances the oscillation and resonance. Details about this mechanism are described in this my publication. These are conclusions of my talk.